Hello and welcome to the lesson KCC 2003 paper 1 Longitudes and Latitudes. Two towns A and B lie on the same latitude in the northern hemisphere. When it is 8 a.m. at A, the time at B is 11 a.m. Part A, given that the longitude of A is 15 degrees east, find the longitude of B. Part B, a plane leaves A to B and takes three and a half hours to arrive at B, traveling along a parallel of latitude at 850 kilometers per hour. Find part one, the radius of the circle of latitude on which towns A and B lie. Two, the latitude of the two towns take the radius of the earth to be 6371 kilometer. So that is the question. Let's uh, begin with the first part of the question. So the two towns A and B lie on the same latitude in the northern hemisphere. So the first thing, because you're given part A, given the longitude of A, uh, which is uh, 15 degrees, is find the longitude of B. So we shall begin by uh, drawing just a rough sketch, uh, just to show the locations of these two. This is just a rough sketch. Both of them lie in the northern hemisphere and are given that A is 15 degrees east. A is 15 degrees east. So 15 degrees east we can just draw it there. So this is 15 degrees east. We don't know the latitude so this is a point A. That is a point A. Then um, we're given uh, something here that will help us. When it is 8 a.m. at A, the time at B is 11 a.m. So at A, there is a part A of the question now. So at A, it is uh, 11 a.m. Or 8 a.m. Then at B, it is 11 a.m. Then you have the longitude of A, which is of 15 degrees east. Now, given the time at these two longitudes, are there something that uh, we can get? We can get the longitude difference using the time, and that will help us to get the longitude difference given the time at A and the time at B, that will help us to get the longitude difference. So the first thing you're going to do, not to get the longitude difference and know uh, the longitude of B, we shall get the difference in time between A and B. Of course, this one is uh, three hours. So 11 a.m. subtract uh, 8 a.m. This will give three hours. Three hours, if you convert this to minutes, uh, just multiply by 60. This is equivalent to 3 times 60, which will give 180 minutes. So that is the time difference between A and B. Now there's something we know about uh, longitudes and time, that for every one degree, there's a difference of 4 minutes. So what you should get now is uh, what uh, does 180 minutes represent in terms of uh, the degrees or the angle difference. So what about um, 180 minutes? Or how many degrees will these represent uh, in terms of longitude? So this will give us the longitude difference that exists between A and B. So 180, if you cross multiply, multiply by 1, divide by 4. So this will give uh, 180 divided by, this will give 45 degrees. So 45 degrees is the difference in degrees, that is the longitude difference between A and B. So this will give the longitude uh, difference between B. Now, using now the longitude difference and uh, looking at the time in A and B, we can get now the longitude of B. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is to look at A and B, look at the time. Now, which one is um, ahead of time? Because 8 a.m. and 11 a.m. Uh, you notice that B is ahead of time. 
So if it is ahead of time, then it means that it is more to the east of A. It is to the east of A. So therefore, uh, for us to get the longitude difference, we shall take um, 15 degrees, 15 degrees. Then we add the longitude difference, which is uh, 45, and this will give uh, 60. So 60 degrees now will represent the longitude of this B, point B. So this will be the longitude of B. And since uh, we have realized that B is ahead of time, remember in longitudes and time that places are to the east of the prime meridian are always ahead of time as compared to the ones that are to the west. So in this case, 15 degrees uh, should be behind. Uh, that is uh, the longitude of B because you can see the time difference is the one that is guiding us here. So B is ahead of time. So meaning uh, B, we were to get the longitude of B, having the longitude difference, we should just take the longitude of A, 15 degrees, plus the longitude difference. And therefore we shall get the longitude of B to be 60 degrees. So this one will be 60 degrees east. It will be more to the east. So if we can uh, sketch it here, it will be to the east. And so we will have, uh, let's say we have B there given this is uh, 60 degrees east. So that when you get now the difference uh, between 60 and 15, if you are to get the longitude difference, having A as 15 degrees and B as 60 degrees, you notice that you get 60 subtract 15, which will give uh, 45 for the longitude difference. So that is um, how we're supposed to tackle that. So we are supposed to find the longitude of B and we have done that. So the longitude of B is 60 degrees to the east. So 60 degrees to the east. So that is the longitude of B. Now the other question is on part B. A plane leaves A to B and takes three and a half hours to arrive at B, traveling along a parallel of latitude at 850 kilometers per hour. Find the radius of the circle of latitude on which town A and B lie. So, uh, there's something important here that you're given. That um, a plane leaves A to B, it leaves A to B, and traveling at the speed of uh, 850 kilometers per hour. So, to solve this question, uh, we need to get the distance AB, the distance AB, the length of this arc. We need to get the length of this arc, AB. The length of this arc, assuming that the center is here. So we need to get the, this one is the radius. So this is the center of the, the circle of latitude. Now to get the length AB, we shall use uh, this formula. So that length, uh, which is uh, arc AB, will be given by, uh, this one is like uh, an arc of a circle. If you have the center of that uh, circle of latitude, so you notice that a, a, B will be the arc of a circle. So this one is given by theta divided by 360 multiplied by two pi radians. That is how we get the length of that arc. Now, knowing this formula where, of course, before I forget, where theta will be the longitude difference of which we have already obtained. How do we get, the other question we need to ask ourselves, how do we get the distance along the circle of latitude of the small circle, this AB? AB is the distance along the small circle of the circle of latitude. How do we get that distance in kilometers since we're given the speed in kilometers per hour? So we need to get the distance in kilometers. Now, what would help us? There's something else that we're given in that question, that the time taken between um, A and B is three and a half hours, given it is here. Uh, time used is uh, three and a half hours. So time taken, time taken is three and a half hours. So now having these two, having time and having the speed, we can get the distance AB. So we can get the distance AB. So to get the distance 
document time given by speed times time and uh, the speed is uh, 850 kilometers per hour times the time which is uh, three and a half hours so this will be 850 multiplied by 7 over 2 so working out this using um, a calculator so working out this you get uh, 2975 2975 kilometers so that is the distance uh, between A and B since we have the speed and we have the time now we are going to use this distance and substitute it in this formula that you have here to get the arc AB and this will give us the radius so using this formula that you have here so the distance AB will be given by theta which is the longitude difference is uh, 45 degrees divided by 360 multiply by 2 pi r 2 multiply by pi which is 3.142 multiply by radius this will give uh, should give that distance should give 29.75 so now having these we can get the radius so making r the subject of the formula we get 29.75 multiply by 370 360 then everything divided by 45 times 2 times 3.142 so this one should give us the radius um the radius so we have uh, 2975 multiply by 316 then divided by 45 multiply by 2 multiply by 3.142 that is 787 so this gives 3787 kilometers so that is the radius of the circle of latitude on which towns A and B lie so that is how we get the radius uh, by simply using that formula of getting the length of that arc then we've obtained the distance because we've been given the speed and the time now let's go to the last part of the question part two the latitude of the two towns take uh, the radius of the earth to be 6371 the latitude of the two towns so we need to get the latitude on which uh, towns a and b lie now how do we get the latitude uh, to get the latitude now uh, there's uh, an important formula that you need to recall here that the small radius the radius of the small circle is equivalent to the radius of the small circle which we denote by small r is equals to r cosine of theta where r is the radius of the grid circle the radius of the grid circle and theta in this case is what you are looking for this will be the latitude angle so this will be the most important formula that you need to recall so this is how we get the radius of the small circle it is given by this formula small radius of the small circle is given by r um cosine of theta and we are given r in the question you are given now uh, it is already here you are given take the radius of the earth the radius of the earth is the radius of the grid circle 6371 so this one will be 6371 kilometers so now we can substitute everything in the formula and get r so the radius of the small circle we just obtained that that's 787 so this will be 3787 is equals to uh, radius of the grid circle which is uh, 6371 multiplied by cosine of the latitude angle so make cosine theta the subject uh, cosine theta the subject it will be 3787 divided by 6371 so cosine of theta will be 
So just divide these. That's seven eighty seven. That is seven eighty seven divided by sixty three seventy one. This will give um, zero point five nine. 0.59 for significant figures 44 so theta will be obtained by getting the cost inverse of 0 0.59 for 4 and therefore this large triangle if you get this uh, cost inverse the cost inverse of uh, 0.59 for 4 this will give uh, 53.53 .53. And since theta here is the latitude angle, uh, and both of them we're given the question that they lie on the no in the northern hemisphere, so therefore the latitude on which both of them lie will be 53.53 degrees to the north. So that is simply how you're supposed to solve that question. Thank you. Mm -hmm.